Aphrodite the goddess of love and beauty, and Hermes, the messenger god, were two of the most powerful and recognized gods of Olympus. The relationship between the gods began when the messenger god fell madly in love with the goddess of love. Hermes was known to be a great seducer and lover, and his love for Aphrodite was no different. However, the goddess did not reciprocate and rejected his advances on multiple occasions. But the god did not give up so easily. He continued to woo the beautiful goddess with stunning gifts, poems, and songs. Eventually, Aphrodite began to be attracted to Hermes' devotion to her and began to reciprocate. The relationship between the two gods was intense and passionate, but also full of conflict. The son of Zeus was known for his cunning and deceit, while the goddess of love was famous for her jealousy and anger. The divine couple's relationship was often stormy, and their love was tested on many occasions. Despite the obstacles, the gods remained together for a long time. Aphrodite and Hermes secretly came together on a starry night, and after satiating her baser instincts, the goddess was left in a ribbon. Aphrodite carried the pregnancy with grace and elegance, and soon gave birth to a beautiful, radiant, and perfect child in every way. The divine couple was delighted with their child, and the beautiful boy was given the name Hermaphrodite, in honor of his parents. The newborn had the features of both gods, the bright eyes of his mother, and the cunning of his father. Despite his exceptional beauty and grace, the young god was the object of his own mother's anger and jealousy. According to the story, the goddess of love did not want to share the attention and affection she received from the other gods and mortals with her own son. Therefore, Aphrodite decided to hide Hermaphroditus in a cave to protect him from the outside world. However, her caution was not enough to prevent the young god from being discovered and admired by other gods and mortals. Soon, rumors of Hermaphroditus' beauty and grace spread throughout Olympus and beyond. Many gods and mortals longed to see this exceptional being for themselves and approached the cave where he was hidden, and some even tried to enter to see him up close. As he grew older, Hermaphrodite's beauty only increased, making him even more desirable to many. But the jealous goddess of love continued to keep him isolated, not allowing him to have contact with the outside world. However, her efforts to protect her son proved fruitless. One day Hermaphrodite, tired of the confinement, decided to venture into the earthly world. In his quest, he came to a crystalline spring in an enchanted forest, where he met a naiad named Salmachus. The young woman saw Hermaphroditus approaching, the exceptional beauty and grace of the young god took her breath away, and Salmachus fell madly in love with him instantly. Her heart was pounding in her chest, and her mind was clouded with the burning passion that consumed her. However, the beautiful young man was not interested in her amorous advances and rejected her overtures of love. He wanted to remain free and not be bound to anyone forever. But Salmachus did not give up, and in desperation, he prayed to the gods to unite them forever in one body. The gods, in their wisdom, granted his wish, and the two merged into a single entity. The resulting transformation was an androgynous figure that defied any conventional definition of gender and sexuality. Hermaphrodite had lost his individuality and freedom forever, trapped in a body that was neither fully male nor fully female. The fusion of their bodies was so intense that the waters of the fountain churned violently, and an aura of magic and mystery surrounded the two lovers. But while Salmachus rejoiced in her love and clung to her beloved, Hermaphroditus wept for the loss of his individuality, his beauty and freedom. He had been forever transformed, and his identity had dissolved into that of his admirer. Although Hermaphroditus' life was forever changed after his transformation, his presence in Greek mythology became a reminder of the complexity and diversity of the universe, and the need to accept and value all forms of individuality and freedom. The figure of Hermaphrodite has also had a lasting impact on culture, literature, poetry, music, painting, and sculpture. His figure has been depicted in many ways, from the sacred and the divine to the grotesque and the monstrous. The story of Hermaphrodite is an important lesson about accepting diversity, valuing individuality, and fighting obsession and greed. The story symbolizes the complexity of the universe and the need to appreciate all forms of life and freedom. 
the figure of Hermaphrodite has left a lasting imprint on culture and literature and will remain a reminder of the richness and diversity of human and divine nature.